Hello, Zen here with more European Universe House 4. If you haven't heard about this game, you should have by now at least. Such a great game. Glad it's doing so well on Steam. And a lot of people didn't even know about European Universe House until Paradox is like, oh, we're making it, even though it's our flagship game. But uh, surprisingly, it's Crusader Kings that got them well off all the incest and killing that you can have in that game. But anyways... Or on the fifth episode of England, of course. I mean, sixth. <laughs> and I think it's going to be one of those episodes where we kick back a bit. Because I don't know what to do. I want to advance technology. I want to make some cores. I want to convert some culture, I guess. Maybe we're here. They have a lot of attacks. So if I convert them, they'll be probably worth the most. So let's start off with them. 125. Done. 150. 100. 150. Need a core there. Need a core there. Welsh. It's not accepted in our culture? Really? Probably explains the damn revolts. Hmm. That's pretty cheap core. Uh, whatever. We can both here. Because we're from Normandy, our original king. We claim. Four three three. What is our current king? From the event War of the Roses, it pops up based on if you have an heir. Before the year fifteen hundred. Every month it goes by that you don't have an heir, there's a chance it'll pop up. But a weak claim is horrible. It means he'll have like 40 legitimacy, which will take forever to get up. And his son will come with a weak claim too. <sighs> I'll risk it. Plus it'll be fun. We're at 90. Their war exhaustion gone yet? It's one of the main reasons why I didn't uh, want to go forwards. Apparently, we're behind on our army tech too. They're on six. We're on five. Yeah. Bohemia six seven seven. Aragon seven six seven. what happens when you get amazing leaders. Oh, winter. Hmm. Let's go and try and find some areas. As you can see here, the bays are frozen over. The rivers are actually frozen over. It's kind of cool if you're actually paying attention to it and it happens. That lake's not frozen. That lake's mostly frozen. I think these would be frozen. Little fonts. Hmm. So I found out what. Where is that thing? I had a building here, remember? I was trying to figure out what it was. Anyways, it was the Tower of London. Apparently, this was supposed to be Notre Dame Cathedral, but maybe the mod didn't turn on this time. Well, not mod. Well, I guess it would be DLC is the correct term. Uh, 
and keep advancing time. It's taking a long time. By two. Not worth it. My first one. Show us the next level of technology. Infantry fire combat with and military tactics. Okay, I'll do it. This one. Exam behind. I don't want to get too far behind in military tech. Improve maneuver. Let's make sure our trade notes didn't do that stupid thing of switching again. Good. Like, why would I want to send trade here? I'm not even collecting from Antwerpen. I can't even take out of Antwerpen. Ah, we can boost stability. Not purple. I thought it was blue before. I wonder what the different colors of our marriages mean. Blue, 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 teal. Light green, I don't know. Poland is now Pope. It's Poland. I didn't get the chance because I got an event that gave the Pope negative 100 with me pretty much early on. And Hungary is annoying to make cores against. They get uh, a thing that makes their enemies on Hungarian culture. I took steps and it took 480 admin power just to make it into a core. It's ridiculous. It's almost a technology level. I could invest into a level of my well, last level of stability, or the last two, and almost the first, including. Expecting a lot of trade from there. Take the gold. If it told you what level they were. Ooh, he's better, but he's level three. Too expensive. I want to switch this guy to a level two and the other one to a level one. But there's no level two for him. There's no level one for him. So I guess I'll leave it. Let's took it a neighbor modifier. Yeah. Is there someone level 7 next to us? Looks like it's the Star Dragon Cannons. Yeah, they're level 7. Military power is the one you don't actually seem to use too much of. But admin power you use for pretty much everything, and diplomatic power you use second most. 
Region Elros France. French is at war? Oh, they are. Uh, Brunswick, Switzerland, Flanders, they rule over Amanek, Avagon. Hmm. I'm not going to take any more land from them this episode. <laughs> I want to, but. Oh, what is our mission? Ah. I don't have a claim on that anymore. Would have gone for war for that. But oh well. I have a free guy actually. I can start fabricating claims on France. Go with main. You know what? It's just going to be a piece for a long time. Start annexing Scotland. Fourteen ninety one, so ten years almost, or eleven years almost, <laughs> in a few months. But this will keep ticking down, make it shorter. Your country, ah, I can create vassals. Quite a few. I wonder what the main advantage was in uh, Europa three. You lost infamy for doing it, so. I still make a lot of money. They have manpower again. At least it doesn't instantly take away all your morale. You're up at three, it did that. I guess it waits until you unpause the game in this one. Or it did unpause it because of what happened. I'm gonna lose. They have more tactics than us. Level seven. Hmm, they do. Call our morale. Crossing your family, crossing to come to the aid against Aragon, Navarra, Naples, Portugal, Savoy. What? Are we getting a claim? Here. the claim last for? 
you know, 16 out of 20 years, it's fine. I don't really want to join this war. Savoy's my ally. Portugal's my ally. Steel isn't. Castile looks like it's going to win this war. I don't know. It's Morocco still. Hmm. No one can reach him from but Portugal. Twenty five prestige is a huge hit. But I'm gonna take I'm gonna take it. We're not gonna set it up number one. Yep, we're now number two. We have an area? No. Let's bring a couple more guys. Really? I love this interface. So what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This will be at 30. It cost us. 420. I'll go for this next. <sighs> level 3. You're level 1, I take you. them both into one army and split them in half, I think. Alright. The War of the Roses is going to start soon. Probably next month or the month after. It's a good thing I made some troops. Kinda curious what the event looked like in game. Oh, priority prestige. Winter. All the bays are freezing up. How bad is this winter? I'm wondering if it's the same. Or if this. Oh, look. See? Just expanded. I wonder if it freezes the same amount every year. Look, it's breaking up. It's melting. Tax it. I want to go Protestant like in history, if you're wondering. Really? This is a horrible, horrible, horrible event. That's it? That's a War of the Roses, this? 
course I'm going to go for the second one because admin's the most important. New Yorkshire. Well, it happens in Lancashire. Where? Ah. An Ulster, what? Because I moved my troops there. That's the War of the Roses. Oh, this is going to be for a long time. I guess you still work gratitude. Crappy leader again. Stupid event. Guess I should have taken that crappy air with the weak legitimacy. So probably would have started off with 40 instead of 20. But I did want to see this event, how it played out in the game. That's expensive. So how are you noticing it? Screw it, I'm not paying all my money to these damn things. Go for it. No leader, what? You have the leader? 
Where did my leader go? Did he just randomly die right before I went into battle? <sighs> Actually... You're a crappy king. How long does this last for? So at the start of the game, if you don't have a king, does this happen? This event? You think that only the English provinces in England would be supporting sides? But this stand this event there's something that makes the king good or something. Or improves my legitimacy. I already need to start rolling better. I just got my troops filled up and now I need fifteen thousand more men. Free advisor slots. Go with you. Who are you? Not that I'll go with you. No. Nope. Yep. Nope. Yep. I don't know. Anyways, I think we're going to end the video here. With the War of the Roses going on. Let's see what the event ends like and hopefully has something good at the end. But, uh, please like or subscribe if you liked it and thank you for watching. Bye for now.